Hi lovelies and welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Belinda Stronard. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first person to be notified that we are returning subscribers to those who that share my videos, leave commentaries and also educate each and every one of us. You guys are the real MVP. All right, lovelies, let's dive in into this video. So, lovelies, I came across this video on my For You page on TikTok, and I thought to share with you guys where Mama Tot is actually getting cancelled for trying to pass out misinformation. And a lot of people are shocked to the fact that she is actually mega. People are getting so, so confused, people are cancelling her, and I was just able to put off some of those stitches about the controversy. I'm just going to roll it as well as some of the stitches I was able to put together. Please leave me your own thought in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We are just here for educational purposes. Alright lovelies, let's dive into it. You ain't mad. Cause I'm, I'm mad as hell. You know that mad that you just get so angry that you just cry about it? You so mad you just cry about it. That's how mad I am. Like these, these they have lost everything. Everything. Imagine walking outside of your house and seeing nothing that, that you ever worked hard for. Just gone. I've seen houses just completely just slide down the mountain. I'm seeing people making videos because they can't find family members. How are they supposed to apply for something if they don't have electricity that does not get their baby fed in this moment? Like, the job they had, the building is gone. Like, how is nobody mad? <clears throat> I'm so fucking mad. Made my page about politics and I'm not uh, I'm not going to I don't talk about politics because I'm a Trump supporter and I realize that makes me look very hypocritical considering I positioned myself as a queer ally because for one people don't know how to talk to each other when it comes to politics they just don't okay they just hate you if you disagree I'm okay with your rights being taken away but I'm not okay with you hating the people that want to take your rights away that's just a bridge too far and not once have I used my platform for politics or any of that stuff being a political is a conscientious choice and brand strategy that helps me reach more people and therefore make more money plus that stuff doesn't affect me so why should i pretend to care my page is about love and laughter because i love on people all people everybody you know i don't love you i don't know you and you don't know me either but it's really important that i continue to foster this parasocial relationship because i have a lot of rainbow merchandise that i need to move i didn't say anything about fema about presidents past or future presidents i didn't say anything none of that and i'll continue saying nothing but as usual my silence will speak volumes i have never made my page about i knew i wasn't wrong for never following mama Todd because something it's something about those older women with those really deep southern accents that are not to be trusted like yes some of them are cool some of them are good you know what i'm saying the girls girls but some of them they will hide their true colors as much as they can and as soon as they can show it they gonna show it the fact that they are mad her and that uh officer whoever he is another alleged trump supporter the fact that they are mad about fema and you know the hurricane victims only getting like 750 dollars is very telling because did y'all even do a piece of research did y'all even know that congress is really in charge of that and if you're so mad about that call your senator call your governor of your state and tell them hey we need to get another hurricane relief form that is more money than 750 dollars per person because y'all know they do have to spread the money out and make sure everybody get a little bit of something call them up and tell them that and maybe maybe it won't take 12 months like how it did a few years ago for them to pass the hurricane relief form y'all mad at, at biden and, and kamala harris we all need to be mad at bush because he's the one that set this shit up in place to begin with you also quick to be like oh yeah it's the president's fault it's the vp fault no y'all don't know how the government work and it shows all the time presidents are literally just the middleman congress and the supreme court run every fucking thing also maybe y'all should stop putting y'all trust in them people and start doing y'all own research because y'all allowed to go to bat for y'all favorite yt person until they start being that yt person and then y'all mad at them we've been trying to tell y'all but hey y'all gonna support who y'all want to support regardless yes you did say are you mad are you mad they can't get up the mountain are you mad they can't fill out the paperwork are you mad they can't get to the babies you made it political. You 
made it political. And if you didn't make it political, and if you didn't use MAGA talking points, and if you thought that you did nothing wrong, why did you take the video down? And then put up a retracted version. Almost going on an apology tour of making you the victim. No, absolutely not. With your following, you have a huge impact in the words that you say. And a lot, a majority of your followers are in the South and they are Republican and MAGA followers. And they will eat that shit up like candy out of the hand of, of your dad. And then I go to your Facebook and this is what you're sharing on Facebook. But we're wrong. We're wrong for pointing it out. We're wrong from asking questions because that's all we're doing. We're asking questions. Why? And then when I read through the posts of your followers, why did the National Guard go away? Why did they not help? Why did they have to go to the Middle East? Why did they have to go to that country? And the reason why um, they're on vacation is because it goes to the illegals. And it's all about, it, it's all the money going to illegals. And it's all about helping Ukraine. Whoa, whoa, and not once in that post did you stop and say, no, we're not talking like this. No, one has nothing to do with the other. Those are two different bills. There is the FEMA relief fund and there's the SSP. Not once. And this, this is just adding fuel to the fire. I was curious. That's why I went on the Facebook page. Because T taking the video down here, I was curious, is the Facebook page taken down? And then this gets shared. Just adding more fuel to the fire. So yes, we have questions. A lot of us on, on, on here have questions. Because with your following, you have the power to set people straight and go, no. One has nothing to do with the other. No, we need to give it time. No, these disasters has never happened in this area. Let's give people time to get together. Let's get the resources out. Let's make sure everybody gets to where we're going. And we're never, ever going to talk about talk bad about the military because I'll take that personally. The National Guard has rescued over 538 people in the last few days. 150 pets. They have been busting their ass 24-7. And we're not going to talk bad about them. And uh, not once did you correct your, your army of minions when they were over there harping on the military, harping on the National Guard. Well, they got money to send them to Kuwait, but they can't help their own people. That deployment was planned over a year ago. And not the entire National Guard's going. Only 700. Not once did you stop them in, in those comments. Not one time did you put the brakes on. This is why we have questions. We have a lot of questions. And we are entitled to those questions. Because for someone with that large following making this kind of mess, this affects people. It affects the rescue. It affects the rescuers. Imagine not stopping. Why am I getting emotional? They left their families behind to rescue people. They risked their lives to rescue people. Not once did you stop them. With their hateful comments. Do better. It is mama taught to situation didn't teach you anything. It should teach you that you need to go vote. <laughs>
because there's a lot more people walking amongst us who are pretending like they are with us and pretending like they're on our side and pretending like they care about us when they really don't and they really will gab the gab with us and then go in that poll booth and do something completely different completely against everything that they said they stand for completely against the people they care for the people that they say they represent and they love and care for they be lying and that's what happened the first time when old boy went up against Hillary Clinton. A lot of people was lying. A lot of people wasn't saying anything. And another big portion of people was lying about what they were going to actually do in that poll booth. So if this doesn't teach you anything, this should definitely be teaching you to get your ass registered and get up to that goddamn pole and pull the lever. There's way more closeted people on this app than you think that are going to vote against my interest your interest their interest in the name of what because we left politics behind a long time ago this is about morality at this point and i ain't getting ready to go back and forth with nobody in the comments you're gonna get blocked this is not about politics this is about morality and there's a lot more people who are immoral than you think go vote that's all i know black people y'all man for real my thing about the Mama Todd situation is, why are y'all surprised? Y'all get on the internet every day and y'all watch these people sit their phones up and talk to y'all about A through Z. And y'all put all this faith in these people and y'all know nothing about these people. Influencers are just people that get on the internet every day. I don't understand why y'all are so heartbroken when they do something controversial. If y'all would stop inviting everybody to the cookout, y'all wouldn't be disappointed. Stop letting people on the internet disappoint y'all. But DeVille, her of all people, like, I would never have thought, I would never have thought that she would ever. You telling me somebody that you have never met, know nothing about, besides what they post, makes you believe that they are not a certain type of way. Okay, you know the whole mama tot thing? I just watched a video of a lady and I was like, oh my God, I completely agree. If I were mama tot and if I wasn't MAGA and someone accused me of being MAGA, I would be on this app so fast and because I do not want to be associated with that. I'd be on this app so fast like... Are you guys effing kidding me? I would never stand by that man or by his politics or his beliefs or any of that stuff. But she hasn't. She posted a video and she said she won't talk about politics. So I woke up to all of the Officer Udi and Mama hot commotion on my FYP. And I just want to say that if you black like this... God bless your soul if he was following Officer Udi anyway, because I feel like he let us know a few years ago where he stood politically anyway. So around 2020, during like the height of the civil rights movement, I feel like it was the end of 2020, maybe it was the beginning of 2021. He made a video and he had the police flag hanging up in the background. And I remember people were asking him in the comments, Officer, Officer, why would you have that? Which I was curious too i felt like it was inappropriate it was insensitive um for the times that we were in and what was going on in the country and for you to just make a video with that posted in the background it's like sir what huh and so then he created a video you know trying to justify well i'm a police officer and this is a police flag negro don't nobody care about anything you're talking about take the flag down that right there was just it just put a bad taste in my mouth and i remember commenting on his video unfollowing for stupidity and goofiness and i stopped interacting with his videos so they don't show up on my fyp anymore but him saying like that the hurricane has basically switched his views and f kamala and f biden because he saw for himself what the people are going through he was never voting for kamala it was always F. Kamala. He's just using the hurricane as a way to justify why he's saying that he's not voting blue, which is his prerogative. But if the hurricane ever happened, he would be using a different excuse to be saying or justifying why he's not voting blue. Again, that's his prerogative. And 
I heard that some influencers were getting paid to get online and basically sway, you know, the masses red. So that could be something that's going on as well too. And as far as Mama Tot, no comment on her. Toodles. Sling Mama Tot. Let me tell you what's happening. So Mama Tot, you know, the lady who's like, let me sit with you for a minute. Let's eat lunch together. You know, really nice Southern lady. So she got on the internet and she posted a video, very emotional, talking about how FEMA aid or hurricane relief was not helping people who had their whole houses just like completely destroyed and their lives completely upended. She was very emotional about it. Now the problem is Mama Tot is out there spreading mis and disinformation with that post. And not only did she post that, but she also was deleting comments that tried to tell her the actual true situation that's happening. And then she deleted the video once she got negative press. I'm not saying I'm canceling Mama Tot. I'm just saying that as somebody who has a really, really big following, Mama Tot knows better. She's been doing this for a long time and she knows better than to post political information and government policies without researching them beforehand in order to avoid spreading misinformation. I don't know if I believe that it was a mistake. People are canceling. You guys, I just saw somebody say on here, he said, you guys are shocked that an ex-cop and a white woman from Alabama are Trump supporters. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. I mean, the writing's on the wall, you guys. The story writes itself. And it's so wild to me. I think the wildest part of it is the spreading of the misinformation. Like, fine, if you, if you want to support that side, cool. Not cool, but whatever, right? I'm not going to change anybody's mind on that, and it's not what, I'm, what I would ever try to do. But spreading misinformation is the most dangerous part of it all. And that is, that is where it's like, and then everybody just jumping on board to believe it. Like, come on, you guys. But the ex-cop and the white woman from Alabama, I mean, come on, man. It's wild. Wild. You know, some of you are struggling right now on this app because you just found out your favorite mega influencer is also a maggot. She's a Trump supporter. I have a question for you. Did you ever ask her? Did you ever point blank say, are you voting for Donald Trump? Because if you never asked her, then she never really lied to you out loud. You know, a lot of you make these assumptions. And these assumptions, I think it's, again, she's teaching a lesson. Maybe y'all can hold each other's hands and walk through this. Because you want so bad for the people that are good to you to just be good people. And that's not always the case. You see it in your families all the time. These people, you show up at Thanksgiving and Christmas, different holidays and family events, and you hear some racist shit come out of their mouth and you are shocked. You cannot believe they've said or they've done what they've said and they've done. But the marginalized people that come in contact with them peg their asses for it because they see them doing it every day. You don't want to believe it. But it doesn't make it less true. These assumptions that you make about people, because they're kind to you, they will take a moment. They'll sit with you in your pain, your struggle, and in your time of need. You don't want to believe that they are also voting for the people that create your pain and your struggle, the people that keep you in times of need, but they do. She is no different than the ant that you love so much and can't believe they're so awful. But you keep coming back to them. So who's learning the lesson? They're certainly not learning to change their beliefs and their ideologies. They're not learning to be better people. They're teaching you to tolerate what you view as a kinder version of hate. Hold each other's hands. Walk yourselves through this. Because every vote counts. And that vote is being cast against you. You have to excuse a lot of things, a lot of horrible things, to arrive at a vote for Donald Trump. 
It's a character call at this point. But these assumptions were on you. So correcting the problem is also on you. So lovelies, apparently there is this woman by the name Mama Todd. That is where she's like, she's probably known by that name Mama Todd on TikTok. You know, she's all known with her goodness. She's a typical person that average people like look up to. Not like a lot of people love her. She she has this personality of having a positive energy. Like on her platform, she's all about you know encouragement, giving you that positive vibes that you ever needed. If you're someone that is breaking down. You know she's out there to talk to you like she's very inspirational like she's a woman that everyone like her fans you know look up to like she whatever she comes to her platform and she start by hi honey are you okay like are you doing fine is anything troubling you you know she's she has this kind of sweet thing in her like i checked out i've never heard about her but this mama thought, you know, controversy made me to like to check her out. I went to her, you know, to actually know what she's, you know, she has a follower of about 23 million followers, if, if not 24 million. And she also have a backup page of about 3 million followers. And oh my God, her page is all about positive energy. She has a lot of you know fans she is actually the first uh, you know lady i stitched her video you could just check it out and uh, so because of all of this hurricane helen and the destruction that comes with it she actually took to her platform to a lot of people claim that she passed out a misinformation she talked about it 750 us you know 750 you know usd that every other person has been talking about she like the information getting to me is that she posted a video talking about how she is not into politics you know if you see the second video i stitch on this video it's an interpretation of the first video she posted which she deleted it and re-uploaded the first stitch that i stitched i i don't know if you guys understand okay let me just start afresh the first video i stitch of mama Tut is an edited video of the previous video she you know posted which she deleted okay then the second stitch video by the sister is actually the first version of the first video mama t posted which have caused a controversy okay i hope you guys get it now <laughs> so when she posted that video people were leaving comments in her section trying to correct her that the money that was relieved is not actually the money that you know that that is not actually the only money these victims are going to get because she is making it you know look like that money is the only money that the victims are going to get and she want people to be very angry you know she want people to like rally go out there you know why would you do that like she has, because she has a lot of followers like 30 something million followers that means she's she is an influencer like she have influence on people okay because i really want to understand this controversy it, took, it actually took me time for me to understand what is going on but even if i still do not understand you are here to correct me please correct me if i'm wrong because i actually want to understand this controversy of mama thoughts going all over this so she just go on your tiktok type on my thoughts you will see a lot of them seriously so but you don't need to do that i am here to just you know give, give, give you everything you need to that is it so she posted the video and the comment section she keep on deleting any comment that tells her no that, that is not how it is 
that is not how it is but she keep on deleting the video and she went ahead to talk about how she's not you know a political whatever blah 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 but people are getting surprised and disappointed with the fact that she is a trump supporter which she didn't deny okay a lot of people were like if you are being accused of being mega it's best for you to just come out and like oh no you guys are misunderstanding it i am not a, you know people are disappointed that someone like that that they actually believe in they listen to she comes to comfort them like oh my goodness like i i took my time last night to actually check her platform to you know like she's so sweet they were you know the way at which she give you this positive energy and all about the thing is that people are getting angry disappointed to the fact that the person that she represents i think a lot of people i don't know if it's assumption but people are saying that she's a she's a strong supporter she support people that puts them in this in a condition that she comes out to tell them oh my god you have to look for a way to have a positive energy with all of them you know sweet sweet things this is exactly what i i understand that is happening with the commission of mamati that's another as officer that people also looked you know up to who happens to be a trump supporter and people are so 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 disappointed that the people that they liked she has a lot of you know followers but you know pink color blue white yellow people you know she's she doesn't do anything political but with, because of this hurricane she 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 made people to realize the person that she really is which a lot of people are not taking it lightly people that actually you know looked up to her people are so disappointed people are so hot that their favorite sweets oh my god is someone that supports someone that puts them in a certain position i think this is the reason this is why the internet is in commotion now this is actually an eye opener that the person that you might probably the person that might be very very nice to you you know this person might be nice or sweet might actually have different you know from you this person might have another like different kind of up, you know from you this person might be sweet and all of that but this person also have a different personality you know this person that is just life this this thing that is happening is just the way at which life is someone being so sweet to you does not really mean that this person does not also have their own life to live the people that they want to support the people like this person might be sweet to you but might be a friend to your to someone you despise or something so this is just life and it should be a lesson because when this thing has been going on for like 24 hours like the internet mama chat mama chat i was like what did she say i try as much as i can to listen to the first video i stitched that she's wearing black and i was like she never said anything but on a second thought i decided to you know check other people's stitches and people were like oh she deleted the first video she re-edited it oh my god she's a mega supporter oh my god we thought she's nice oh we're so disappointed like there's no point being disappointed there's no point because the thing is that even all of these sweet things you guys never asked who she's voting for who she's supporting so i think at this point <laughs> all the way lovelies let me just leave you guys to decide on what you think of this video going around about you know mama tarts and all of that because oh my goodness all of my timeline is oh mama tart i'm so disappointed you hurt me you so you broke me we thought you are a sweet person she is actually she might actually be a sweet person but that does not stop her from who she really is that is life this reminds me of you know this issue of ray and season all of that this person these people that might actually 
you know come out to be anti-ray and this and uh, want to help you support you but in times of they have to choose themselves this is how it is even so even if someone is supporting you try to lift you up there is a point in life this person will have to choose what benefits them i think that is it anyway lovelies why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment we are just here for educational and informative purposes so please if you don't subscribe to this channel you are going to hit each video to click on the subscription button and i will see you lovelies when i upload it i've watched time. up to this extent thank you so much for all the love and support why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and please don't forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment i'll see you lovelies when i upload the next one